There are many places and secrets in the Destiny universe that you never knew existed. In today's video, we'll dive into five of these secret locations and they're actually pretty crazy. Things like orbiting cities, nuclear craters, derelict spaceships, and much more. My name's Evade and welcome to Destiny Guides. At number five, we have the pyramids. Now you're like, dude, we already knew the pyramids existed, and that's definitely true, but there are some lines from Destiny referencing something being hidden under or near the pyramids. Here's a quote from the Cryptarch. Found at the foot of the Great Pyramid, 755 feet to his side, 36,506 inches, less than a tenth of a degree from true north. Is that location significant? Ha, everything's significant. So we don't know what is hidden near or under these pyramids, but what we do know is that pyramids played a big role in some of Bungie's past games. Now this most likely has no connection at all, but I thought it'd be pretty cool to share with you regardless. So in 1993, Bungie released a game called Pathways Into Darkness. This was also the name of the first Vidoc release for Destiny 1 about three or four years ago. So Pathways would cast the player as a member of a US Army Special Forces team sent on a mission in the Yucatan Peninsula. On May 5th, 1994, a diplomat from the alien Yaro appeared to the President of the United States and informed him that on May 13th, an ancient godlike being sleeping beneath a pyramid would awaken and destroy Earth. So I'm not sure about you, but I think it'd still be pretty fun to play this type of game, you know, reimagined in 2018. Now, regardless of whether that has any connection between, you know, these pyramids and Destiny's lore, probably doesn't, but I hope you enjoyed that little fact there. At number 4 we have the orbiting city of Kyair Lyrian. So this information can be found on the Destiny 2 Terra armor set, and I believe this was a PlayStation exclusive. I don't actually have the armor set for myself, and didn't even know this lore here existed because I don't play on PlayStation much, which is kind of annoying, but yeah. So according to the Terra Concord mark, here's what it says. The orbital city of Kyair Lyrian was one of Earth's crowning achievements in the Golden Age. So that sounds pretty cool, right? This city that orbits Earth. This to me sounds like it could have been an early concept of, say, a social space, and there's actually some evidence of this, not being the actual city itself, but Bungie did explore the idea of a social space being on a spaceship compared to the last safe city or it being on Earth. Here are a bunch of different pictures from their concepts in early development. Now, as I said, this lore comes from that PlayStation exclusive armor set, and if you didn't really acquire it, you probably didn't know about it. But here's the thing, if you take a look at the PlayStation website, they have a little bit of a different description on the Titan armor here. It says this, Armor forged from the wreckage of the Golden Age orbital city, Kyir Lyrian, which plummeted to Earth centuries ago in the collapse. So there you have it, that's pretty much the fate of this orbital city. It was most likely thriving during the Golden Age in Earth's orbit, you know, building spaceships, going to different planets, possibly sending humans to different planets, and then the collapse happened and it basically crash landed to Earth's surface. At number 3 we have Cassini's fleet. Cassini refers to the fleet of damaged ships floating around Saturn. The ships are remains of human ships from the Golden Age fleeing the collapse. Dreisten Kor was the captain of the first fleet sometime during the collapse. He and his ships perished around the orbit of Saturn, so it is possible that he was involved with this whole Cassini fleet. Now we do have some quotes regarding all of this, so here's what those say. Hard to starboard, stand by weapons, helm, get us out of here. And the second one says this. Engines dead, do we still have Earth signal? Tell them we were wrong. So this gives us a little bit of insight of what happened during the collapse. We know that during the Golden Age, you know, all these human ships and vessels went out into the solar system to explore, colonize, and transport things to different locations. We have another example of this with the Exodus Black, which was carrying SIVA, and this would have been used to, you know, construct cities and help build new technology on these locations. Now, the thing ended up crashing on Nessus, but you get my point. So these were a fleet of human ships possibly running away from the darkness, or whatever was going on in the collapse. At number two, we have New York. So believe it or not, there are a couple of things in the Destiny universe involving New York. These come from a couple of quotes from the Bounty Tracker, I believe in Destiny 1, and here's what those say. Re-upping Bounty, Taken Infestation, New York Crater. And the second one, Retrieval Mission, Manhattan Nuclear Zone. So that's actually pretty crazy. 
Now it's unclear if these are the same location in the Manhattan nuclear zone and the New York crater, but we do know that the crater itself was infested by Taken. Now I'm not sure about you, but when I first heard that name, it brought up so many questions. Why is it a nuclear zone now? Did humans detonate some type of nuke? Did some giant mistake happen? And what's the deal here? Whenever I think about this Manhattan nuclear zone, I get some metro vibes. Like say, you know, the entire city or most of it is demolished, there's radiation everywhere, and you need to go into these tunnels below to clear out these threats or something like that. Now I wish I had more info to share with you on the Manhattan nuclear zone or New York in general, but there isn't much out there. If you guys have something that I missed, be sure to leave it down below. Next we have the jungle choke skyscrapers of the Mumbai push. This concept was also one of the ones revealed at GDC in 2013 when Bungie was explaining how they were coming across Destiny's story and thinking of locations the game could take place in. Not much is known on this area either, but just think about exploring skyscraper after skyscraper. I mean, it would be kinda weird, just think about it. Maybe you would have some land to explore, like say hop on your sparrow and um, drive through the entire city, having it kinda be open worldish, but then most of the playable area would be in these buildings. Instead of the massive land areas we're used to, you know, traveling for a couple of minutes to get to one location to another, it would be more verticality in this exploration. Scaling these skyscrapers, getting to the top of them, and when you do, you have a view of this whole overrun city from the top. That would be pretty sweet. Anyway, Guardians, that's all I have for today's video. These locations are in Destiny's lore, these aren't just some location I came up with. But the thing is, will Bungie ever turn these locations into actual playable areas? I definitely hope so. As you know, we've had two zones to explore on Earth, that being Old Russia and the European Dead Zone, and I'm not sure about you, but exploring the rest of Earth still interests me. I want to know what happened to the Manhattan Nuclear Zone. I want to see what's left of our planet. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to some more awesome Destiny 2 news and entertainment. Also, tell me down below if you'd like to see part 2 of Mysterious Locations. Anyway, I'm Evade, and I'll catch you, Guardians, in the next one.